Welcome back Turtleholics. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining how turtles shed their shells. Similar to other reptiles like snakes, turtles do shed. And the reason for this is because this outer part of their shell here, which are called scutes, they're not very elastic. So when a turtle starts to grow, the newer scutes start to form underneath the older scutes. And then eventually they end up knocking off the older scutes and they fall off. Younger turtles that are still growing are going to be shedding a lot. And so that could be one, two, or even three times per year. Older turtles, once they stop growing, are going to shed less. But in terms of what to look for when a turtle starts to shed, one of the first signs is discoloration on their shell. So you can see here, there's a pretty clear divide here on the left-hand side where it's more of a darker color. And then when it gets to the right-hand side, it's a lot lighter. And that's the new shell that's starting to come in. Also, sometimes they'll develop kind of like a transparent color on top of the shell. And that's another sign that they're starting to shed. Now this is my turtle about one week into shedding and you can see here this brighter color is the new scoot that's growing underneath and then the right here is the older scoot that's eventually going to fall off. And here we are two weeks into shedding and you can see here at the bottom these scoots here are definitely on their way off. They're starting to pop up a little bit. One thing I do want to call out is the scoots are not going to probably fall off all at the same time. As you can see, like at the bottom here, these ones are well on their way off, where if you look at the middle, they're kind of coming up. And then the ones actually near the top of her shell haven't even started to come off. Here we are four weeks in. Penny is in full shedding mode. You can see these two scoots at the bottom here are probably going to come off any day now. Also, these scoots in the middle are definitely on their way off. And we're starting to see some shedding at the top of the shell. And it's pretty cool because you can actually see like the old scoots are the size of the turtle before the shedding. And then obviously the new scoots are how big she is now. So it's a cool kind of like visualization to see just how much she's grown over the last couple of weeks and months. Now, a lot of people have asked me what you should do when your turtle starts to shed. And the answer is actually nothing. Um, the shells will come off naturally. And you might have seen some TikToks or YouTube videos where people are peeling off the shells. But... I recommend not doing that. Now, if the shell is essentially coming off, you're probably not gonna harm the turtle, but there is a danger if you take off the shell too quickly. The shell, the new shell underneath it might not be fully developed, so it could actually end up hurting their shell. And also, if a turtle wants the scoots to come off, they're gonna find a way to do it. For example, they might start rubbing up against certain decorations, or for example, my turtle, she'll kind of sit underneath the filter and try to rub it off, or try to sit right in front of the air pump to have the bubbles hit right against her shell. Now, if you do want to help ensure that your turtle has a healthy shell, there are certainly some things you can do. Number one, make sure that they have a good basking platform with a good light that has both UVA and UVB light. You should also make sure that they have a lot of vitamin E and vitamin A in their diet. I suggest using this Saki Hikari turtle food. It has a large amount of both vitamin E and vitamin A, so it's great for shell development. Another thing you can do is actually take your turtle outside. While an artificial light inside their tank is usually good enough, sometimes just taking your turtle outside to get some natural UVA and UVB light and some vitamin D can also help enhance their shell health. A lot of times people will get worried when their turtle starts to shed because they think something's wrong with their shell. And I just want to reiterate 99% of the time it is totally normal. It's a natural process and your turtle shell will start to look kind of like dried out or even like there's scrapes against it, but it's totally normal and it just means that the old scoots are on their way off. Also, people will sometimes mistake shedding for shell rot. For example, here, this little mark right here does look kind of similar. And then here's a picture of actual shell rot. Um, but it's really easy to determine if shell rot actually is on your turtle shell. You can either just smell it. And if it has kind of like a nasty sort of fungal smell, then it could be shell rot. And you can actually uh, press your finger up against it. And if it's really soft, then that's also a sign of shell rot. But like I said, 99% of the time, it's most likely just shedding. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to my channel. I'm hoping to have videos come out every week and I'll see you on the next one.